The completely rebuilt Xtext 3D Preview offers accurate PBR shading with customizable image-based lighting. Since the PBR results seen in the XX preview match what you would see in your other 3D programs, you can validate and adjust materials without needing to leave XTEX. Let's look through the features and options we've added to this new 3D preview. We're here in XTEX with the material open, and let's switch over to the tiling tool. You will see that the 3D preview button is still in the same place in the bottom here. So we'll switch over to the 3D preview. We'll pop out the 3D preview window and make it larger, just so we can focus on that. And then if we look at the status bar, if you're familiar with previous versions of the Xtext 3D preview, there used to be a few other dropdown, um, dropdown menus here, but those have been moved. So now we still have the shader settings tab. You can see here, everything that you're familiar with. But then we have a new viewer settings tab with the geometry and environment selection options that you've seen before. But these now have added features to allow you to add, remove, and uh, adjust the viewer options a little more. So let's change out two different things first. So I will add an environment here by just clicking the plus icon and then choosing my environment. And we'll switch to that using the drop down box. And then I will also add in geometry. You'll have more options than these two that you saw here when Xtex is installed, but we can reduce this just to show you the process. So we'll switch over to the cloth. So now we have a much higher contrast lighting environment here in order to show the accurate metallic reflections in this example material. If you would like to add in your own environments, you can do that by contacting our support and we can help you get your own HDRI or high dynamic range images converted into the proper format to bring into Xtex. Now, in addition to adding and changing the environment and geometries, there's a few other options here. So you can adjust the exposure of the environment. You'll see it's just changing the lighting exposure that you see on the geometry and not the background here. Usually the default is fine for the exposure. You can also click this little uh, reset button here to reset to the default. If you want to, instead of having this image in the background here, if you want to change that to a solid background, you can click the constant background option and then select something in between completely black or completely white. We'll switch back there. For geometry, we have an added option of actually rotating the geometry itself instead of just moving your camera around. So that can be useful to position the geometry and the camera so you're getting reflections over certain parts of your geometry. Again, there's a reset option to set that to the default. And then finally, we have a new camera position option. So you of course have a reset option. So I can click that to reset just to the default front angled view within the 3D preview. But then we have the option of adding and switching between camera views. So if I just rotate to a specific view here that I wanna save and then click the plus icon, you'll see it adds the camera, a new camera name here. I can actually click in this name box and call it what I want there. I'll click the check mark. And now in this drop down, I have a top down view that I saved earlier. I can click that. And then I can also click the camera two or I can switch back the default by clicking this default option and your camera options that you created will still be in the dropdown. So that's it for the viewer settings tab. There is one final setting that we would like to look at here. It is on the shader settings tab. So let's switch materials here and then let's add in a different geometry. I have a t-shirt here. I'll switch to that and then zoom out. So you'll see on this material, 
we have an alpha map, which gives us transparency. But with certain geometries like this one, um, it can be difficult to evaluate the repeat and the properties because it may be double-sided or maybe the transparency is such that it just, again, makes it difficult to evaluate. So we can switch to our shader settings tab and you'll see a new alpha toggle option. This will turn on and off the transparency. So if I click that, you can see the transparency goes away. I can now uh, evaluate my repeat and my material properties a lot easier. And then when I am finished, I can toggle that back on and see the full results with transparency.